morning. Good morning, Tisha. Good morning, Tisha. Do you need new meals, Tisha? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Gonna do a little bit of mule skin and blue. Ding! Beep, 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 beep. That's when the picking comes in. <clears throat> hey there, little water boy. That water bugging around. I like your dog. Hey, water bugging down. Living on a boat, you get a lot of exercise. What kind of exercise would you call this one? I'm going to film our entire walk so you see how much exercise we get as boaters. This is usually good morning. Usually what we do every morning is uh, walk to work. So we are on our way to Pete's wood shop. Uh, I'd say it's like a mile maybe. How far away would your wood shop be? About a mile, Pete? We bring stuff we need, like I've got some lunch stuff. Um, right now I got my computer in my backpack just to charge it and work on edits if I get a chance. And, uh, gotta have your keys. For a while there, we would forget our car keys or keys to the Oh, cool, so we don't have to, okay, every once in a while, we park a little closer so we don't have to walk all the way to the wood shop. And sometimes we'll forget that we do park. Yeah, and then walk all the way to the shop. There's a couple fun things about this. When we first got back, Pete kept forgetting his car keys. My car wasn't running at the time we were driving his. And uh, man, we'd walk all the way down to the car after coming in. Sometimes we'd row in because the outboard would be broken or something. And uh, he'd forget his car keys. So he'd have to walk all the way back, get back in the knee, row all the way back out to the boat. <laughs> and he needed his keys, you know, to work, because that's his work truck, you know, for his tools. Change your oil on your bus and on the boat. The bus is uh, another like 500 miles yeah. before it's due. What we'll do is next week we check the valves too. Hey Layla, that's your pee. Let's gonna take a poop. <sighs> um, here's all about the St. Augustine seawall. Does anybody read these? <laughs> Sometimes I do.
Um, we were walking in the woods one day, and we got attacked by mosquitoes. And then we looked over, and right on the pathway trail, it said the real Florida. You know, it's got like the real Florida sign, and it was a bunch of mosquitoes all over us. Well, I hope you guys enjoy walking with me today. Really? There's usually a garbage can over there, but it doesn't look like there is one. That means you gotta carry that with you all the... Can right there. Oh, good. Because <laughs> this is a long seawall and there's not too many garbage cans. Layla's a girl dog and she always pees like a boy dog. Uh, a lot of people used to come up to this area and then there was some stairs that you could walk up. Now it's pretty dilapidated. Well, it's always been kind of dilapidated, but you'd climb up these stairs and, uh, and put your dinghy in here. But I didn't like it here because, you know, see how muddy it is and you step in that mud, sometimes you step in an oyster, it would hurt. So I always liked going to the north side because morning, because it's not so shallow. And um, and then I'd anchor my dinghy out. I'd also, you know, anchor my dinghy just a little bit farther down where it's a little bit deeper. Um, but one day there was this homeless man and I had gotten some groceries. And um, I was loading up the dinghy with the groceries, and then I pushed the dinghy out, and I'd anchor it, you know, to keep people from stealing it or whatever. And I was gonna go park my car, and uh, the homeless guy was watching me. And he was like, "Well, how are you gonna get your dinghy back?" And I was like, "I swim to it. I don't really swim to it." Um, so I went and parked my car. And I came back, and the homeless guy had jumped off the seawall into the dinghy and sunk it. So all my groceries were floating. Um, you know, I, I was planning on once I got back to give him some groceries. He was waiting for that. I mean, geez. I just didn't have time because of parking. Parking's kind of hard around this town. You have to, you know... You only have a certain amount of time, and where I was parked, it was you have to pay, and on and on and on it goes. Um, but yeah, how I usually would get it was I had a, a a grappling hook on a line tied to a board, and I'd have it all wrapped up, and I'd carry that with me everywhere. And uh, when I went to fetch my dinghy, I'd pretty much you know like fish with it, throw the grappling hook to the anchor line or to the dinghy, whatever I caught, and uh, and then pull the, up the anchor or pull the dinghy close to me, and then, you know, get in or whatever. So that was a good technique to, to keeping people from stealing it and also keeping it uh, in a deeper area so I didn't have to, you know, trudge through mud. But it was, uh, Kind of, I'd worry about it a lot because of you know people stealing it. Because I did actually have it stolen a couple times, huh? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Well, I couldn't. Uh, I don't see very good, so I didn't see who it was. We're still walking. Yeah, my eyesight's not very good.
sometimes people wave to me and I'll kind of wave because I, you know, because they're waving. But I won't know who it is. <laughs> Funny little step right here. Step tree. the armory. I actually, when I first came to town, had my, uh, my boat anchored out in the bay out there. And I didn't know, see I was rowing my dinghy and I was just going to go up to shore. <laughs> and I uh, rowed up to the armory seawall and uh, it was nighttime and all of a sudden I had all these spotlights on me and a loudspeaker and I don't think they liked that I was rowing up to their, their seawall. They said that I was trespassing and I was like, oh, uh, where do I go? I didn't know where to go to, to get to shore. So I'm thinking, man, you know, it was, that it was the first night that I actually rode to shore. I'm thinking, is that how it always is? <laughs> the oldest house. <laughs> There's an orange tree over there somewhere. I always see the tourist trolley cars pulling in and showing all the northerners the orange tree. <laughs> I grew up, uh, we had an orange tree in our backyard, a couple of them. I used to tie a hammock off it and I used to swing off the orange, underneath the orange tree. Take an old and a climb to the top. And a shake all the branches till the ripe ones would drop. Why hand a bushel basket to the Welcome to Florida picking oranges again. Uh, I had a tape. I had a tape of theirs, no, we and then I gave it to Paul. So we, we should get their CD. That's uh, Wanda Lee. Let's get her book and her CD. It's great. They, they have some really awesome Florida tunes. Her husband was a banjo player. Passed away. Look at this oak tree. This is a live oak. A lot of live oaks actually here in uh, North Florida. They tap into the aquifer. A lot of the bigger ones. I think this is one of the bigger ones. Nice, Layla. Nice. Uh, <laughs> there's an orange tree. Yeah, here's an orange tree here, too. Oranges. Shake the branches. Putting regular paint on now over top of the primer. But we got one more coat tomorrow and then we're gonna pull all this off and that's gonna be so cool to do. Oh, cool. So this is the piece on the transom that's bad. Yeah. And you're gonna cut it out of this piece of I'm gonna make two pieces mahogany. So it's oh. gonna be half as thick. And I'm gonna that way they'll bend real easy. 
Right. And I'll bend them and glue them both together over a form that I'm going to make. That's, that's a good idea. As this. I'll bend them and clamp them down. That's a good idea. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to steam bend. You'll just... Yeah, I mean to have a steam bin box just for this little piece. It's one thing if it's like a whole and you planking. Still have to make a form and bend it. Okay, now we're all done with work. And we're gonna walk back home. So now we're walking from the wood shop. So now the full path of walkage begins. Huh, I shut off the camera too soon. Yeah, that's a live oak. Yeah. Well, pretty wild. I stopped filming because well, there's some police around and fire truck and all that. So that's pretty wild. That limb just fell right out of that tree, man. Do that first. Oh, so we need the hundred foot tape measure then. I don't need to measure that. Oh. We'll measure how far up the bracket is from the mat. Oh. What we need to do is measure how big around that new radar is. Right. Oh, I didn't film the new radar. I'll have to take a video of that. Brother, I got to take that. So, we made it to the dinghy. Now, usually Pete will uh, take Layla out to the boat and then come back in and take showers. Once Pete gets back, we'll get water. See you in a few. Okay. I gotta wait for showers. We're gonna chill out the rest of the night. Now we get to relax. After all the exercise we had today, this is our relaxation time. Have a cup of beer. Disguised in a tea mug. <laughs> okay, good night.